What's going on, everybody? It's Grant Anderson with the Flats Entertainment here to bring you some NBA free agency news. We got the biggest domino to fall yet in free agency as Tobias Harris has signed a two-year, $52 million deal with the Pistons. Now, I know that's not what everybody was expecting here, but now we're going to really be talking about Paul George today signing with the Philadelphia 76ers. Four years, $212 million. I think this is going to be a very beneficial contract to them but there could be some problems that lie down the line so we can talk about those but the Sixers have gotten better here obviously bringing in an all-star like Paul George uh it goes to what I think they're trying to do with trying to put a team together to win a championship around Joel Embiid and I think bringing in Paul George a guy that can score off the ball who you can put it in his hands, but he can score off the ball, can play off of Joel and Maxi, run the floor with these guys, play some defense. I think it's going to be a good move. But what I will say uh, to the point of him signing, is it going to be something that's going to come back to bite them like the Clippers move did? Because when they got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard in 2019, everybody assumed that, it would be a championship that would come out of it. And I don't know if everybody's expecting a championship out of this signing, but you're at least expecting them to contend with the other teams in the East. And obviously you want them to ultimately win a championship. But I think this team is on paper as good as anybody out there with the three main players that they got. They also were, uh, were able to resign Kelly Oubre today for two years, $16 million. Uh, they also brought back in Tyrese Maxey. He's going to be signing on over a $200 million deal to catch uh, his max. So, I mean, they're just there's a lot of stuff going on with them. They re-signed Eric Gordon. Uh, they brought back Paul Reed. Just a few other players, like, just to get – oh, and Andre Drummond as well. So, the Sixers are still, like, keeping most of their team together from last year, except they brought in Eric Gordon. I forgot he was with the Suns last year. Wow. Couldn't even think about that, but – uh, like they're bringing somebody back in like that that can play a wing, either wing, you know, a small forward or a shooting guard, can defend pretty much. But he's coming in there to shoot and score. We know that. Uh, but what does this mean for the Clippers? Because I know this whole time, uh, uh, like coming into this offseason, their number one priority was getting back PG and James Harden. And ultimately, they only brought back one of those guys. Uh, James Harden signed yesterday for two years, 34. He intended to sign for two years, 70 mil, uh, 30, about 35 mil a, get, a year. Um, bringing him back in for the Clippers right now, I think, is what you had to do, obviously. But is it going to make a difference? Because I think losing PG hurts your chances at winning a title at all, you know? So it's going to really, like, fall on James again on how – he I'm not saying it like that, but and we all know kind of at this point in his career, like James doesn't need to be a second leading scorer on a team, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like he can be when needed to, but you don't want to have to have him like focus all his time on just scoring. I feel like you want him to set up the offense because he's turned himself into one of the best playmakers in the game. So I think setting up Kawhi, and I'm, they even talked about trading Russell Westbrook yesterday, so potentially working on a deal to get him gone. It's just going to be a very new look Clippers next year, and so I'm interested to see what's going to happen. But the Clippers came out and made a statement about uh, Paul George leaving. Uh, like They talked about his five years there, felt like they were a competing franchise for an NBA championship, and like they – just couldn't come to a uh, agreement on a contract. So, I mean, from that standpoint, you understand it. That's kind of been the talk the whole time. Uh, I just think it's going to be real interesting to see what the Clippers are able to do now. Cause I, I think their title hopes are over for the foreseeable future, but it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to still be like a competitive team in the West uh, to see. Cause there's, there's a dogs out there in the West now. I mean, you got Minnesota, OKC, Denver, uh, Dallas, like LA is still right there. The other side of LA, you know what I'm saying? So it's just going to be a lot of interesting things coming uh, to fruition. But I think this Paul George to the 76ers is one of the better deals that they got. Cause uh, I was listening to Get Up earlier this morning, and 
one of the guys on there was saying like for 29 other teams this might not have been the right deal but like for the Sixers specifically that was the right deal and I definitely feel like that because whenever I was thinking about PG and Golden State when those talks were happening I personally just couldn't like see Paul George like gelling uh, even if they did gel I don't see that being enough to get them to a championship so sending him to Philly where I feel like you got two guys who are in their prime of their careers and maybe even Max he's not even in the prime like he's getting there you know what I'm saying but he's like they're all stars you know what I'm saying like they're all stars so it's gonna help bringing him in and going try to be on side of Joel to try to bring a championship but I definitely think this is going to be something to look out for see what the east is going to look like next year I mean you got to assume the Sixers Celtics and Knicks are at the top of the east right now we're going to see what the Bucks end up doing uh if they're going to bring anybody in to pair with Damian Giannis they're going to make any moves but for right now Paul George to the 76ers looks to be the best deal of the offseason so far so We'll see what happens, but it's been your boy Grant with the Flats Entertainment. Y'all like and subscribe for more. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the Paul George moves and any other free agency moves that y'all think are going to happen or what y'all reactions to these, but I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace.